Hey, late in the day, kind of warm, kind of humid. What's up, people? Um, bringing us a few out here, birds to fly. Um, I bought a bunch of wyverns and the wasp and one of my venoms. Um, it's kind of pretty out here. It's not bad. Trees are blowing like crazy, but because it's buena, we have a pretty good protective area. Again, kind of humid. It's not exactly comfortable, at least for a person like me. I'm sure most of the rest of y'all enjoy it. Uh, probably mid-70s. Don't like that. But I'm doing a very good job out here again. The, the NG, of course. Um, I guess that's saying. Although, I've, for regular nomenclature, I think I'll probably just keep continuing to call it Venom. Even though it's not the original. As far as basing goes, it's the NG. Um, good distances here. And I was thinking about starting to make like one of those little documentaries, if you will, and describing how um, distances, we, we, we talk about ranges and short versus medium versus long. What constitutes long? Well, you don't really have a, it's pretty long range out there. I mean, we're on a baseball diamond. Buena Park is essentially a baseball field. <laughs> and among other things, soccer field that way and swing sets and junk. This is a baseball field. Um, that's usually, you know, that's left field foul line there. Uh, right field foul line is way over there. We never seem to get to it because the wind is always coming from that direction. But um, you can kind of gauge exactly how far they fly. It's not too far, especially when they curve back like that. But also, I mean, you kind of take into account your ranges, how long they stay up, which is usually why I factor in on flights, on aircraft performance and stuff. It's not just like ranges and length, but it's also ranges and duration of time aloft. And uh, Venom is pretty good at it. There, it is kind of gusty. I honestly cannot tell where that wind is coming from. Um, when they get to altitude, of course, they can find it. I have no idea where it is. Hey, I don't know if you can hear it on the microphone. I'm sure you can, but there, there's like nothing down here. No blade, no blades of grass here. Not moving. Trees. They are moving, but so the plants are finding it when they get to altitude. But when they get to close to that was horrible. <laughs> when they get close to the ground, though, there's nothing down here. So like short gli short glides down here look great, but in the air, I mean, I get. I get wyverns to see down here. They're just straight on, nice, nice lights, stuff like that. There's a breeze right there. Wyvern does seem to, you know, find the the worst weather sometimes, but has really good flights. Oh, when it's not trying to fight the wind like this. I mean, the wind right here is pretty bad, but. This is probably because I'm actually starting to film. So <laughs> it's deciding like, okay, well, let's see if we can trap them on the ground here. Oh! See what I'm saying? 